<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's a new day. This is the day before I leave. I have a full day now to f to finish sending these off. These are the fractals orders. Got like 11 orders here to ship out before I go. I've now taken everything off the store, so if you go to the store there's nothing there, you can't buy anything. And that's just until I get to my space, in <laughs> my space in Spain. It took me a while to find somewhere to print. I had to print like four orders before I could do anything today. So I went around this town. I'm in Maidstone. I went around Maidstone trying to find somewhere to print. It costs like four pounds to print four pieces of paper, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm just watching some YouTube, eating some cereal in my car. <laughs> it's my breakfast. What time is it? 1.36, having breakfast. Yeah. Living in a car is a... It looks like a mess back there, but I move everything to the front when I'm back there. Yeah, it's just a hassle. Been uh, greasing this boy up as well, trying to keep it nice and moist so it doesn't crack. Trying not to use it very much as well. It's, you know, it's hard. I'm right-handed. So, yeah. This is what it is. So I just wanted to say that this move would not be possible if it wasn't for the support of Fractals. My shop, my online shop. You guys have been buying things like crazy over the past couple of months, which has allowed me to save up enough money to do this. For the past two and a half hours here, just packaging up all the, all the orders. It takes so long because I write a handwritten notes for every order. I try to make them a bit more personal. And um, I always get screenshots of people saying, thank you for what, what, what I wrote. And yeah, it seems to be, it's a bigger energy exchange when there's actually words coming with it, you know, for my brain. These are the last 10 orders going out today. Post office is behind me. I can finally get out of this weird town and drive to Dover. Dover is where I'm getting the ferry tonight. We'll see how, what happens, but. Guys, it's not looking good. There's just trucks everywhere. Visibility right now, very limited. I can see about as far as my headlights. Well, here's Dover Castle. Every time I visited this castle, it's been shut. <laughs> Today, it's shut because we're in a tier four area and COVID blah, blah, blah. Don't cough on old rocks. I don't know, it's all nonsense. All right, I'm gonna go find some food now. I've done a nice, nice hour long walk around the, the cliffs here. Uh, my car is in a nice spot. I feel safe leaving everything there. I cover all my bags with like blankets and stuff so people can't see what's inside. But it's also just, you know, nerve wracking, like leaving all my belongings in a car. It's not my favorite thing to do. That's the city of Dover from above. I am out here going for a rain walk in my bare feet. It's the only place you can come and the only time you can come during the day where there's not gonna be around. So I have this whole place to myself. There's traffic everywhere guys, all these roads are blocked. Every road is getting blocked now. Literally no one's moving. What has happened? Alright, what's up guys? Day three of being stuck in my car at the port of England. It rained a lot yesterday, so it was very hard to film. Uh, I captured a little bit of the protest, but the rain got heavier and the protest stopped. The sun woke me up today. It's now gone, <laughs> but it did, did wake me up. It seems like a lot of the people that are parked here have moved. I now have a different neighbor. So I'm quite confused what's going on. I guess France has opened up and they're letting people across again. I haven't seen any ferries move, but I need to leave my car and go investigate because maybe this is my chance. I hope so. I believe so. This might be my chance to go across. Finally. Uh. So there's a few lanes open, but all this traffic up here has stopped. They blocked everyone from coming out of the port. I'm not too sure what the situation is. So there's a chopper up there. Just a mess. Yeah, 
Stuck again. <laughs>
做做，没做怎么样？So I successfully tested negative on my little thing. She came over and marked it, said, yeah, you're good. 
Good to go, she's gonna print me a certificate and then I can get out of here. This thing's only gonna be valid for like 72 hours, so I have to drive to Spain as fast as I can. There we go. I did it! They let me in! 